hello everyone it is princess underscore mini four and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here please make sure to subscribe and turn notification bell so today i am going to be making egg bites with my egg bite maker that i got for christmas hope you guys enjoy this video all right you guys so the first thing you're supposed to do i think it says fill one egg cup with water and pour into the lower heating plate so we're gonna do that first so here's the little thing. So you fill one of these with some water and then you pour it into there. So yeah. So fill one, pour into the prepared eggs. Okay, so now I gotta prepare my eggs. So I'm just gonna speed it up and y'all can see. All right, you guys, so I got me a bowl. My stomach gets just so upset this morning. I know y'all don't care, but not that y'all don't care, but it's like, who cares? But um, let me see. So the recipe is all in there, all say five eggs. So I'm just gonna make five eggs. Especially since these eggs are old too. Oh, hold on, I need a bag. Hold on, y'all need a bag. But yeah, these old, these eggs like expire in November. So. And today is January 19th, so. <clears throat> but yeah. I haven't made eggs in a minute. Hope these eggs are fine. But yeah, I think I'm going to put some. That looks so nasty. I think I'm going to put some milk. A little bit of my lactose free milk, then some cheese, and that should be it. I don't know if these eggs good, y'all. But here we are. Alright, you guys. If you don't already know, we have our lactose two percent reduced fat milk or lactate. That is what it's called. So I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in there. I know it's supposed to like make your eggs fluffy or something. I think this says that five eggs makes two batches, which is fine because I can literally have it for breakfast and for lunch. Um, so I got this cheese right here. Uh, then let me go grab some salt and pepper. I haven't made eggs in so long. Hopefully they come out good. Yeah, I'm gonna speed it up. All right, you guys. So it says it's kind of optional if you want to spray some cooking spray. They say it's non-stick, but I don't ever believe that because we have non-stick pans that you that are not non-stick. So I'm using some Pam to just spray on these. So yeah, I'll spray it over the trash can though. Okay, I did not want that much, but it's all right. Oh yeah. So now I have to rinse my hands off. Ew, but cooking is annoying so now i gotta read the instructions i really don't know i don't really know how you're gonna do this but here's what it says and not to mention it doesn't seem like there's enough water but it says fill your egg cups three four full with egg mixture with so okay so let's try that um, I guess I'm gonna get a spoon because this fork ain't gonna do much. Um, do I have like a bigger spoon somewhere? I'm gonna use this bigger spoon. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All 
right, you guys. So it's been five minutes. And I rewatched the video. I didn't even tell you why I was talking about that. The reason why, another reason why I feel like I'm shaky is because I think I'm not getting in enough protein per day. You have to have like 80 grams of protein per day. I know I'm not doing that. So that's why I wanted this egg bite maker. But yeah, let's look at them. Oh, yeah, they are not done. They are not done. Put that back down. Mm -mm. But yeah. I just feel like I'm just not getting enough protein. So I said this is an easier way and it's a fun way to get in protein. So yeah, but they're not done. They're still like raw, which is kind of weird. All right, you guys, it's like, ooh. Those two are kind of, but I don't really know. Like, how do you know if they're done in the inside? Oh, God. Oh, don't mind me. I'm watching my own video on YouTube because that's exactly what I do. All right, so maybe they're done. So, I'm going to take them out. All right, you guys. So, hopefully I don't get electrocuted again. Cause when I unplugged it, it did that little spark thing. I think I need to have these apartments come and check on our uh, plugs. Cause no, this ain't it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the first batch. It's probably cold now. Now I can't get this thing out. If you wanna, if you guys really wanna know why I don't cook, this is exactly why. <laughs> it's just too much work, and I feel like you don't really get a good reward after cooking. So yeah, whatever. So let's uh, look at the other. So this is the first batch. You see those two, I guess were higher up, so they turned that color. But let's see, yeah, those ones are kind of hard. I mean, it's not a bad texture. Now taste is a different thing. Focus right there. But yeah, I'm gonna taste them. Cause I'm legit starving. All right, you guys. So I'm sitting down on my little chair. So let's try. Mm -mm. What's wrong with it? there's something wrong with these eggs I remember I said the eggs are November 30th like nah there's something wrong with these eggs this is a fail let me try one more yeah there's something wrong with the eggs Well, at least I know how to do it when we have fresh eggs. All right, y'all. So the next batch just got done. So y'all about to see me take it out and stuff and see how it goes. So let me grab the other fork. I made me some grits, y'all, because no, at this point, it's 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. And this is the reason why I'd be shaky, so. So I'm going to move this thing over Then I'm going to take this out. I don't know how you're supposed to get that water out, but pour it down like it. And yeah, it's telling me to eat my breakfast. So this one's a little burnt. And yeah, even with the Pam, y'all, it's still sticking. So, all right. Now if these don't taste good, then it's the eggs. But when we get fresh eggs or whatever another time, probably after my surgery, when I have enough energy to get up and cook again, I know that I would like it because it's not a bad consistency. Like, it's like crispy on the top, but it's done, but it's like fluffy. But yeah, so this batch actually came out a lot better than the first batch. Well, so far, let me get this last one out. Yep. That's weird, but 
yeah i'm gonna let them cool a little bit then i'm gonna try them and yeah i'm letting that cool this i'm probably gonna soak let me make this water but yeah all right you guys so let's try these it's gonna focus probably not um they even smell weird like comment down below like how long after the date can you eat eggs or should you really go by that date because all my life they've always my family like my mom's side of family and now my dad's side of family you can eat eggs up to like a year after the date i don't be believing that I, and call me crazy but i go by the expiration dates like literally like i don't care if it's a second nope i'm getting rid of it but that's just me everybody's different but i go by i'm like my reason is like they put it on there for a reason alvin says best buy or sell by okay that's different but if it like there's a difference when it's an expiration date on it and i feel like no eggs probably shouldn't be here that's almost two months after the date so anyway let's try it now i'm like turned off from it because <laughs> they tasted weird they even like they just don't smell like eggs and eggs have a smell obviously but everything has a smell if I get sick and I can't have my surgery because of these eggs, I'm going to lose it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Something wrong with these eggs. It tastes like dish water. Yeah. Follow the sell by date when it comes to eggs because it's literally uh, like it's out of a chicken. That's disgusting. Yeah, I got my grits. That ain't gonna go bad. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn notification bell, know when I post, and share the video with your friends. Sorry it was a fail, but I could tell that I would like it if the eggs were fresh and they were, you know, <laughs> not expired. And they just it just has like a weird taste. And it's like, I'm thinking about what I put in there. It ain't the milk and it ain't the salt and pepper. Like, I don't. I don't put that much in my eggs. Like some people put garlic, some people other stuff. No, I literally, it's not like I don't even put milk. I literally would just put salt and pepper. So it ain't that. It's something wrong with the eggs. Or maybe it's the egg maker. So I'm going to wash it out, even though I washed it out already. But I'll wash it out again. And then we'll try it, like I said, a few months after my surgery. And yeah. Bye, guys.